Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Resonance of Fate for what is more than likely going to be the finale. Here we go. I believe the final boss room. We'll also discover if the buffs carry over from room to room. <sighs> Another step closer to a miracle. It's been a long journey. How long I've waited for this moment. There's something I wanted to ask you. I'm listening. I believe everyone has a path they're meant to walk. Do you regret yours? I have no regrets. I chose the path I walked, wherever it leads. I will accept the fate that awaits. I'm glad. <laughs> what a curious girl. Why don't you hate me? Do you think you're some kind of saint? You may not want to kill me, but that won't stop me from killing you! No, but maybe this will. Shooting someone in the back. Not very sporting of you. You really want to see a miracle? Are you going to show me? I don't think you'll live long enough to see it! Two guns. This guy's doing miracles or reality. I'm not here to show you anything. I'm here to take everything away. I don't understand. Why are you holding a gun to us? Foolish child. Do you need a reason to kill? You're nothing but a bad joke. What's getting killed in a rage fueled frenzy gonna accomplish? Prattle out all you like. Only a hard fought death holds the meaning I crave. Yeah, so he wants to die, it sounds like. What else is in here? Just for curiosity's sake. Venomous fog. Judges assault. All right, well, 193. Holy cow! I know the sins you committed, child. My only sin is living. Exactly. Kill or be killed. We're not so unlike you and I. Uh. Once upon a time, that was probably true. Come on. With that again? I'm not worried about poison. Poison's not gonna stop me from doing anything. Take a lot of damage from it, maybe. Well, that might be true. Deborah's mind is a special place. It's done. That's it. That should should be able to finish him off. Oh, she got poison. Wow, look at all that damage. What is that? person wearing holy cow I didn't ever notice that that's something make sure everybody's on what we want them to be on let's see I don't think we need any more armor piercing rounds I don't know for sure that there's nothing else coming up so I want to save some of those got a lot of hit points. This has been a real good place to bring throwing weapons. 
if you're if you're going for the trophies, you'll need higher levels. I don't even know if you need to go as high level as I did to get the trophies. But of course it wouldn't hurt. How much is this? They're doing a little over 10,000 a pop. How many times have we gone around? Oh, I can't reach either of them. Where are they at? One's way over there, one's way over there. Okay. Well, I'll give Zephyr the ability to start making more resonance. Oh, I missed the click. Come on. Getting good stuns on him. It might actually be a good idea to take out these other guys first. Most of the damage is coming from them. I suppose he could be doing a lot of damage if I wasn't keeping him pretty much stun locked. This would be a pretty good place, I suppose, to have throwing weapons also because, well, there are some pretty good throwing weapons. And I didn't even touch the, the better ones. Yeah, she's doing pretty much twice as much damage with those hollow point rounds, so they, they must be doing something, I suppose. This'll do it. That wasn't super difficult, I guess, but he had a lot of hit points. you let the curtain fall? I don't want to see it end. After all he's done? What is that? You take it from here.
you think they come from? That's it. Don't forget to consider the possibilities. Don't look away. But... look away? Which way? That way. Outside our little world. Hmm. Now, where's this vampire girl? There she is. She's still standing on that wall. <sighs> Don't do it. I'll hunt you down. Turion alive too. Now is this is this the the miracles they keep referring to? Or is that is that his sacred sign? Is that what they saw? I'm not entirely sure, folks what happened when he shot that the painting there's definitely something there but I missed it and they don't explicitly say maybe it's a miracle his Rowan's uh, old lady maybe pulling some strings is that Sullivan oh no no that's that's the the good doctor look at that shave job maybe that's his sacred sign But it is snowing what appears to be like flower petals, so that's kind of miracle-ish. She's still alive. I'm not sure what part she really played. Just Rowan's support. Himself. We didn't kill him either. He's visiting the grave site. There's the ring. He's finally laying it to rest. But where is Leanne? And that little vampire. Sullivan Whoa, is he walking outside of Basil? Or is he uh he's at his his weird outer wall home? He's like the the creepy hermit. Oh, those are trees. There's the vampire girl. 
He's outside. I see what you see. S Sullivan. So there definitely needs to be a sequel. A sequel where they leave Basel and they explain what happened to Leanne. But yeah. Not sure uh, how heartwarming the ending is. She seemed to accept her, her death and I think we're, we're led to assume that she died and as far as I know there is not a sequel to explain these things. It could also be that the English translation just completely botched it. But with all the other miracles and everybody else surviving, especially Solon, he got he got put through pretty good. I'm thinking maybe uh, Leanne was spared as well. We can we can have these pleasant thoughts, can't we? Yeah. The sequel where they left Basel would be outstanding. I don't think, or I'm not sure. I guess if if the, the land can't sustain life or if it's become toxic, they don't really explain that. But what they do what they do say is that uh, the human lives are linked to those those crystals, those quartz. And uh, those are managed by Basel, so their their lives are tied to Basel. But maybe uh, Sullivan actually did find a way to break free of that. Now, when you when you start playing again, when you load your save, you'll get one of the black hexes that goes to Neverland. And I don't think I don't think you have to actually get through Neverland to get the trophy. I think you just need to. Unlock it. Or enter it, maybe. But your levels have to be significantly higher than mine are. I, uh, my, my original playthrough, I think I got to somewhere around level 270 with all three characters. And I still had a little bit of a hard time in Neverland. I'll see if I can't show that at the end of the credits, getting the black axe, and, and I'll see if that old dude is still there. And you have to get through all 10 ranks of all 100 levels, or all 10 levels of all 100 ranks of the arena for another trophy. I think you have to, you have to do so much damage or kill so many enemies with, with no weapon. You can actually walk up to them and smack them with your hand. You can't do a, a hero action, you can't run, you have to walk up to them. But, works pretty well on weaker enemies, I suppose. I can go through, I can show off the trophy list too, I suppose. We're not super long on this video. The last couple have been fairly short. I love the, the just innovation of this game. Unique combat system. Never, you've never seen anything like it. It's the only, it's the only combat system like it. Unless they make a sequel, it probably will remain the only combat system like it. Unique world structure. I wasn't crazy about the, your avatar on the world map. Just, it's just a like a pointer, like a mouse pointer, basically. Wait a second. What's this? Well, look at that. Leanne! Her eyes change color. All I really need is within my grasp. Yeah. So they did break free of Basel. But... Yep, you can start a new game plus. But now there's Sullivan and the vampire girl, and the vampire girl hinted at an entire race 
She said us, I would think. Like an entire race of the vampires. I don't know if they're vampires, but she was drinking Sullivan's blood, so... Exit the cleared save data. Save screen. Yes. We get like a fin. Yeah, we do get a fin. Is it soup? I never had fin soup. It's a nice picture. That would have made a great Sega. Uh, thumbnail for my videos. That's what I should have done. I'll load this, load this up real quick. See if I can show you. I'll show you. I, I've hinted at it a couple of times, but I'll, I'll show this. So level, oh, oh, 228, two, oh, this one's the highest. This is the one in Neverland, yeah. 283, 272, 250. So very high levels for Neverland. And to get the trophy, I think there's a trophy for completing, completing New Game Plus, but you actually get it for just starting a New Game Plus. So I didn't, I didn't play through New Game Plus, all I had to do was start it. So here's the, our new game. Let's go ahead and load that. So when you retain, replay a difficulty level, you've already beaten, you retain all your level, items, rubies. But when you go up a difficulty, you will not retain any of these things. So it says, colored energy hexes, reactivated hexes on the world map, and missions cleared are never retained regardless of difficulty level. Well, let's just, let's, let's go normal. Yeah. I won't save over anything, just to, to peek at it. Now open the door with your own hands. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Oh, this is that Christmas. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this. We've seen that. You can go back to the first video if you want to watch it again. One year and several months later. Let's skip this. Story mission. And... Huh. You keep at it, you hear? Let's see. Yeah, right there. There's our, our black energy hexes. So, you don't, I guess you don't have to talk to him. He tells you something. What does he tell you? He tells, maybe, maybe he tells you something about Neverland. Oh, sh... Oh, come on. He tells you something about Neverland. He tells you something. It's not crucial. I guess. I thought he gave us one of the black energy axes. But we've already got those. Hi. Now can I lose? Dang it. Hello? Shh. Quiet, you. I just want to step outside of town. Trying to demonstrate something here. Hi. Hi. Okay. No. Okay, bye. Let me go. Bye. Okay, so you can see that all of the, the hexes that we had uncovered are, are lost. We still have our white hexes, but all of our colored hexes are gone, except for the blacks. Let's see if we can get over there, though. Now, something else to, to note is, due to the unique shape of all the hexes required to get there, you will not be able to take the terminal effects. The Neverland. There's our abandoned elevator on the top side. Let's go check it out quickly. And I think it's all the way down to level 12. Until we're, 
Which direction am I? There's Neverland. No man has ever returned sane from this dark place. Said to be the remnants of a Cardinal Run amusement park. And I'll poke inside just to show you the map layout. I'm not going to go through Neverland. You can see the levels of these guys are just ridiculous. 95, 85, 128, 111. I'm just going to flee from this. And there are several sections. There's your energy station. There's a section to the right, to the left, straight ahead, and right here in the middle. And they're just one battle apiece. So it's not incredibly long, but these are probably the, the toughest fights in the game, except for maybe a couple of those harder ones in, uh, in the Basilica there. And you are blocked in. So once you're in, you're in. This is, uh, is going to wrap it up. I think, well, actually here, I'll, just real quickly. What's in the gold boxes, I believe, are the gold guns. They're gold versions of, of the guns that you get during the regular playthrough. It looks like, actually, the machine gun that Zephyr has might... Maybe you get some of the gold guns during the original playthrough. Hmm, I thought they were all in the second playthrough. But you get gold guns, anyway, that are, that are superior. But that's it. That's it for the playthrough. Thanks for watching.